Okay, you know that I bought a flail mower, and I like my flail mower. Uh, it's um, Farmer Helper, Asian import, marketed by Betsco. I think they're out of California. The one thing, my pet peeve with this machine, it is not even close to being quick, quick hitch compatible. It's like they didn't even know there was such a thing as a quick hitch. The geometry, the reinforcement bars, everything are wrong for quick hitch. Even the positioning of where the pins would be are too low for a quick hitch hook to get underneath, to just slip under and come underneath. And I have wasted too much time trying to get this thing on and off in a hurry. And then a neighbor made something for me. My buddy, the machinist, took a piece of hardened steel, 7 8 inch diameter steel bar, drilled it, ow, drilled it, and now you can just slide that across. So hang on a moment and you'll see what I'm going to do with this. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I should have two each, but I only have one each, is I'm going to drop a number one to number two adapter into the jaws of each of the quick pick quick hitch arms and that's just to minimize the amount of play inside of the hitch arm and the wear on the steel bar the next thing i'm going to do is come back around here pick up the steel bar slides down and it goes down to the next one. I think I knocked the uh, adapter out of the way. Yeah, I did a little bit. Okay. I think you get the point. I need to sh I need to fire up the, the tractor to move this an iota. It slides through. I drop a clip in it. And this is done so much easier than fighting with everything else you've got to do with this thing. So I just encourage you to, one, let Betsco know they need to improve their product. They need to make it, they need to find out that there is in fact a standard for quick hitches. Dimensions from here, the whole nine yards, there's dimensions for these things. And they need to build their mounts to comply with the standard. You don't have to use the hook, all right? This is how you mount one of the arms. Every dealer I've ever seen gets it wrong. Don't pay attention to those videos. That's how you mount the arm. It goes back to the top link pin, slides over it, flips over. I use my hook, those bolts, they're stupid. I drilled it out in IOTA. I got two trailer pins from tractor from Harbor Freight and I just clip it in. It's easy. So the quick hitch is even faster. So if you're a dealer, pay attention. If you're not a dealer, don't pay attention to your dealer. So there you have it. Just get yourself a big 7 8 inch pin, have them drill it to accept a clip and clip it on and then use those adapters number one to number two, and it will, two of them will fit in there, and that will minimize your play and wear and tear. All right, wishing you a fabulous summer in the great outdoors. Be safe. Bye-bye. Oh, one last thing. Make sure that you attach the PTO shaft before you put the rod in because the one end of it will slip under the rod. I had to take the tube out, put the shaft on, and then I just slid the tube through. So no matter what, this makes thing this makes your quick hitch a quick hitch even if you have a bed skull and it might work for other stuff too all right thanks bye